Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, you are in for a special treat because, for one, I'm wearing a mud mask, so I look really freaking weird. But for two, I'm going to go over every single bottle that's in my collection. I have some fragrances over there. I'm going through a move right now. My top faves over there, because those are the first ones I brought. They're right next to my bedside. Then right back here behind me, I have all my other fragrances inside a duffel bag. Since I told you I'm moving. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the ones I brought initially because obviously I like those a lot. So here we have Angel Share by Killian. If you don't know Killian, Killian is Hennessy's grandson. So he makes all his fragrances look like alcohols. Look at this. Taco Roban, Amber, Bergamot, and Broxen. Very good, fresh, clean, and good for any day out of the year. Feed Aventus. You want to smell like a shake. You want to smell like a king. You want to smell like a true descendant of royalty. Creed Aventus. Everyone loves Baccarat Rouge. So here, <laughs> Baccarat Rouge Extra 540. Hell yeah. But that's expensive. So, all Harmain, Amber, Oud, Rouge, same formula, fraction of the price. The amount of compliments I get when I wear that is insane. Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. You want to be a compliment magnet? You want to be a lady magnet? Fierce. That shit's got pheromones in it, guys. Girls love it. Next, a little Chanel box. But has some more of my faves in it. So this is one that I found in India. This is an ether. Ether is oil that you actually just put behind your ear, kind of like this. Just take it out. It's like a swab. You put it behind your ear and it lasts like three days, they say. Personally, this one lasts like 12 hours and it's called Rose Oud 540. Got it in India. It's a complete dupe, but it's oil. So it actually smells really different. I like it a lot. Five Christian Crab Apple Blossom. It's my favorite fragrance of all time. Vera, Zerjoff. The line is called Casamorati. If you want to smell like a dessert, get this. As I like my Creed Aventus, Mont Blanc Explorer gives you the same formula, same vibe, just a little bit more affordable. And it does kind of reflect in the smell that it's a little bit more affordable. As you can see, I like it a lot. I have another one of these small ones in my gym bag. I wear this one a lot. Bleu de Chanel, you don't get the Eau de Toilette, you don't get the Eau de Parfum, you get the pure perfume. I feel like these ones, this one, it competes with Bond, competes with Creed. That's actually why I have it up here with my other Bonds. Scent of Peace, the first Bond number nine I would recommend to any guy. This one, it's got the bow tie on it because you're supposed to wear it with a suit in my opinion. It is sharp, fresh, clean, deep, and attractive. You will definitely break necks if you wear this one. Next, bond number nine, Hamptons. Fresh, clean, rooftop bar type lounge. Um, you wanna go to the beach, you like Louis Vuitton afternoon swim, you like Hamptons. Bergamot, village. I love this one. I tell people at my store all the time, it smells like a freaking stripper. Confidence boost you get? Holy shit. 212, Carolina Herrera. Real fresh and clean. I recommend this for like, any day out of the year that's like a little hotter. And maybe if you just want to wear a white t-shirt and some jeans, put this on. The Prada Luna Rosa, sharp, fresh, clean. I've said this in some of my Instagram videos before. When I wear this, I feel like people truly want to listen to what I have to say. I usually wear it when I sell real estate. So it's a real businessy type smell for me. I wear it to business meetings. One million Paco Robin. I'm not gonna lie, I don't wear this. I just have it in my collection because how can you not? It's a gold bar. Come on. This one is the Audi Toilette. I don't use it a lot. I mean, it sure seems empty, but that's just because like whenever I travel, I actually like like travel internationally. I do end up taking a bottle of this because this is a fragrance that internationally is a people pleaser. If you like Sauvage, you would also like Mont Blanc Legend and Coach New York. Both of these have that same type of vibe. Really like all of the Versace fragrances. It's kind of where I started my fragrance journey. Signature, also known as Poor Home. This is like one of my top, top first favorites. 
Then it was Dylan Blue, and then I picked up a bottle of Ofrache. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really use these too much nowadays anymore. It's kind of where I started my journey. If you like Blue Day Chanel, but you can't afford it, Dylan Blue is a really good one. I'll extreme. This is just one that I picked up as a good cheapie. Real sweet. Bottle of Invictus, as you can tell, I really like Invictus. Harry Ellis Reserve. Like, guys, for $30, you can't go wrong with this one. Joe Malone Velvet Rose and Oud. Rose Prick by Tom Ford. This starts off really rosy. Ah, oh, really feminine to begin with, but it ends up like a, like a spice bomb. Favorites, YSLY, Ofrache. I don't make this one anymore, but when they were making this one, I was using it a lot. I would wear it to the gym a lot. Mm, beautiful. YSL Le Home Ultime. I actually have two of these. I love this one. They stopped making it, um, but it's got a real deep personality to it. I'll do a review of this one by itself later. YSL La Nuit de La Home. Really like spice bomby, really, really strong. La Nuit de La Home Eau Electrique. This is also very, very, very strong, but they added some amber to this one, so it's a little bit more sweet. YSL La Home Pour Home. This is a travel size. Love this one. Mason Francis Aqua Celeste. The rest of my Mason Francis line. This is a little travel set. It's got a little bit of everything in there. We got Aqua Universi, Amira's Home, Masculine Plural, Grand Soiree, Gentle Fluidity Gold and Silver, Oud Extra, and Baccarat Rouge Extra. Love Dior Home Sport. Another really, really good gym fragrance. Really fresh and clean. I want to say like sexy, like YSL Tuxedo. This is private line YSL. It's really hard to get your hand on, but if you can, you will love it. If you like Tom Ford's, you will love this one. Tom Ford, Oud Mineral. I'll have to do a video on this one by itself one day too. Oud Mineral, so look for that. It's in Margiela. I just put a short out of this one yesterday. Um, I did At the Fireplace, but this is actually called At the Barber Shop. Now this is one of the ones that I would only leave in my room at my other house and my whole room smelled like it all the time. It literally smells like you're going into a barber shop. And you know like that feeling you get after you get a haircut, you're just really confident. That's kind of why I like this smell because it, it, it gives off the vibe of confidence and of maturity um, and sophistication. And I just like that. Kind of like Tom Ford ombre leather. This is like a, like a brand new car smell. Like you're wearing like a leather jacket and it just kind of smells like a real rich, rich guy. So I also really like wearing this one on dates. Baccarat Rouge, the non-extra version. Yup. Don't need to talk about that. Everyone knows that. Super sweet, super inviting, super playful. Oh, there's so many. Got some more YSL La Home Ultime, the one that's discontinued that they don't make anymore. Then we got YSL Y, Eau de Parfum. I do also have the Eau de Toilette. Both of these, amazing. It's an empty bottle of Creed Aventus. This is a pre-2016 formulation, so you actually get a four ounce. As compared to what they're releasing nowadays, they decrease the size, but they still charge you the same amount. 3.4 versus 4.2. Crazy, isn't it? Formulation back then was way better too. Way better pineapple top note. But we won't talk about that today. Then we got Prada Carbon. I like to refer to this one as a Playboy. Oh my God, Louis Vuitton Imagination. Love Louis Vuitton Imagination. Super inviting, super playful, super fresh and clean. I It's my current gym scent. It's what I have in my gym bag right now, as well as the Explorer. Sometimes I want to smell like more spicy with a little pineapple top note. Sometimes I just want to smell fresh and clean, you know? Hugo Boss. This one's called, it's kind of like Versace Dylan Blue, kind of like YSLY, EDP, kind of like Blue de Chanel. So just along the lines of that, like a dark blue scent. Michu Ice, super fresh and clean. Um, kind of like the Dior Home Cologne, if you're familiar with that. Then we have Armani Code Colonia, because I like wearing stuff that people can relate to, like Armani Code, but I don't like wearing the base Armani Code, because that's just too common. I have to wear something different. So this is Colonia. It's got more bergamot to it. It's more fresh. It's more clean. If you like Versace Ofrache, if you like Versace Pour Home, you will love this. Then we have Aqua Di Gio, another Giorgio Armani. 
absolute. Again, I can't just wear the regular Geo. I can't wear like the base level stuff. This is the Audi Parfum version. This is, as you can see from the top, it's wooden note. It's a wooden fragrance. It's really good. It's got patchouli, ambergris. I think that's it. Sent daddy out.